what's going on everybody out there this is popular stranger and we are back at you again today with another madden 23 ultimate team video in today's video we got early reveals for part two of the rookie premiere promo which is coming to mutt 23 tomorrow morning now if you guys enjoy this video if you like it if it helps you out make sure to go ahead and click that thumbs up button shows a lot of support on the channel helps the videos get noticed also if you're brand new here you are searching on youtube for mutt 23 content whether it's how to make coins how to get free players how to build your ultimate team you found the right channel for everything stay a while click that subscribe button turn that notification bell on as well so you guys are alerted when we drop additional videos let's get right on into it we're going to start with early reveals for the final golden ticket content drop which is also coming tomorrow morning so here they are t higgins six foot four receiver 98 speed route running across the board and catching all 99s this is a very very good looking card obviously has the attributes he has the height we will show you guys the abilities the zero ap abilities in a moment but this looks like a pretty good card i'm honestly surprised at the lack of wide receivers among the golden ticket promo uh, in general i think we had what sauce gardner t higgins uh, obj colin johnson i might be forgetting one other player but that was it for wide receivers one of the biggest positions in mutt um we have a quarterback who's getting a cornerback card in justin fields this one looks pretty good as well here 99 man zone press and play rec agility jumping and acceleration mid 90s and then 98 speed easily able to get to 99 so this looks like a, a pretty good card as well not sure what the price is going to be uh, but it looks like a fairly good one dalton kincaid i believe a rookie right rookie for the bills i'm not familiar with him here so i'm guessing uh, that's what he is bills mafia got them a golden ticket 97 speed 99 run block short route running 99 mid 96 i would have liked to see those two flip uh not a bad car just because he gets the 99 run block so he's going to be a very versatile tight end receiving the ball and run you know holding down the run game uh dk metcalf a wide receiver turned cornerback a lot of those golden tickets uh this year 98 speed 99 man 99 zone 99 press agility play rack 95 96 and then jumping 99 i would have preferred the agility to be a little bit better over jumping i don't know if the creator would have had that option but that's something i would have liked to see uh then we have daniel fala la 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 that's his name i'm sticking with it for the rest of my life 98 speed out of position running back 99 truck 99 break tackle 99 catch carry 99 agility change of direction i still think he's going to be a problem even those are low there even though those are low he's still going to be very annoying to go against not as annoying as like the freight train running backs but still you know being that he's so big it's going to be an annoying card uh, and then we have a natural running back who is also a big ball carrier here and that sounded very suspect so we're going to keep it moving jerome bettis 97 speed 99 acceleration agility 94 trucking and brake tackle 99 same with carry only 82 catch 96 change of direction i would stay away from this one there's so many better running backs out there i can't really imagine this card would be overly expensive here are all of the abilities and a zero ap abilities specifically so t higgins gets short in and short out for both zero ap that's a good one i'd probably add on deep out elite for the one ap He's going to be a top five receiver to finish out the year. Uh, Justin Fields is going to get deep out zone KO and deep route KO. So that's nice because you can play a hybrid scheme with him and have both of those uh, for zero AP. You still might want to spend one AP on either Acrobat or Pick Artist, but the combination of both those knockout abilities is, is really good there. DK Metcalf is specifically going to be, at least ability-wise, for man coverage players here. Deep route KO, not deep out zone KO. Uh, and then acrobat so he could be he could play on the outside or as a slot defender uh daniel fa la la la, -la bruiser and short and elite and then jerome bettis gets tank and bruiser i would have liked to see probably tank and short and elite uh, on those cards so there are the abilities let's talk about the rookie premiere part two content all right, I forgot this is in my media on Twitter. This is the reason why tonight's video is a little bit late because we went out to eat tonight and the food was fantastic. Moving along, all right, we got eight more rookie premieres. We're going to be halfway through the promo. It ends on July 20th, uh, so eight more coming out tomorrow from the NFC and AFC West. We have Anthony Bradford, right guard. I think even though you know the attributes, um, you know, aren't the greatest on this card for a 99 overall, 96 awareness, 95 pass block, 97 run block. 
block. Uh, building your offensive line via rookie premiere to start Mutt 24 out is, I think, the smart thing to do. Let me interrupt my breakdown of the attributes on this card because there was some really important information EA put out tonight about rookie premieres. Uh, they have told us it's confirmed these cards going over to Madden 24 will be BND. So we still don't know if it's going to stay the same overall or upgrade throughout the year. That's something hopefully we'll find out very soon, but you will not be able to sell any of these cards. And I kind of expected that because you can carry over all 32, assuming you do all 32 sets. If you want to, you can carry over all of the players, but there's also going to be an ultimate rookie. So if you do all 32 sets, Every time you do one of these Rookie Premier sets, you get an extra collectible. If you get all 32 of those collectibles, we don't know what that ultimate rookie player is going to be, but that player will also carry over to Madden 24, and that one will be auctionable. So I'm assuming it's going to be a pretty high overall card and probably very expensive if you want to do the sets like you got 15 to 20 mil or a bunch of cards in your binder or you're selling off your team uh it could be worth it for that ultimate rookie card alone because that card could sell for a lot of coins early in mutt 24 depending on who it is how good it is the overall the abilities all of that but i'm definitely going to go after it so um Building your team via offensive line for rookie premier. If you can't do all 32, you might want to try to get left, right tackle, right guard. If we get a center and left guard, I think those would be good options because if there are 85, 86 overall cards to start, you can set your whole offensive line and not have to worry about upgrading them for probably a month or two into the game. So this could be a good candidate for that. We have Byron Young, uh, outside linebacker, run stopper archetype here, 94 speed, 95 finesse move, 99 block shed, 94 power move doesn't look overly intriguing to me i'd probably skip on this one jair brown we have some good defensive backs but uh they're a little bit on the short side and he's one of them five foot 11 99 hit power 97 zone 94 man decent looking card we've seen much better strong safeties at 99 overall i mean that kyle hamilton card is uh, 10 times better than this one so this is a card i would probably pass on unless you're trying to get all 32 done marvin mims jr another five foot 11 guy looks like he could be a good slot receiver there though good speed route running uh, catching traffic a little bit low um you know again pretty similar to zay flowers from the first drop of this promo so if you didn't get zay i mean this is another option if you're not going after all 32 i would still wait to see what other wide receivers we get uh paris johnson jr offensive line you know attributes don't look great for madden 23 but this is a card i'd probably recommend trying to carry over to madden 24 uh rasheed rice this could be a better one like this is a better one six foot one uh, only 96 speed but with strategy items and everything out there and remember you can assign a team chem of your choice to four of these rookie premier cards you can easily get him to 99 speed the route running is good for mid and deep which is the most important and pretty solid catch rating so uh could be a good madden 24 receiver definitely a good madden 23 receiver uh Thule, I, i'm just gonna call him Thule tulip and that's probably disrespectful but you know what I'm not going to be able to say his last name here. Probably messed up his first name as well. Uh, defensive end doesn't get unstoppable force. So, like, if you know, if you're a Chargers fan, you might want it for next year, but it's not going to be a priority of a card for this year unless you're going after all 32. Then we have Tyree Wilson, another defensive end here. 94 speed, 99 block shed, and power move, 95 finesse tackle pretty good this card looks a little bit better in my opinion if you compare the two uh and then we have a red zone royale card so those were your eight rookie premieres um this is your free login 99 so remember sam hubbard will get downgraded to an 80 overall tomorrow and you'll get this card via welcome pack and this is going to be the best tight end in the game for the next week and then next thursday uh this card will go down to an 80 and we'll get another free player i really like this i hope and wish they would do something like this for every promo obviously not at the 99 starting out the year but you know give everybody a free 86 overall or 88 overall from the first promo a month 24 downgraded after a week let people try these cards and let people try them for free i, I want to see this concept uh in future content drops the 
two champions for part two of this promo and Quan Bolden looks pretty good. I don't know if he'll get all 32 team chems like his Black History Month card did. I'm going to go ahead and probably say not, but hey, you never know. EA has been very inconsistent about that, but really good looking card there. And then on defense, we have Byron Jones, cornerback. He's got good height, good attributes aside from play rec, but this card looks really good as well. To build these 99s, you're going to need two 98 Red Zone Royale players. They didn't reveal any lower overall Red Zone Royale, so I don't know if we're getting more 98s and 95s and 93s, or if they're just going to stick with the part ones, which again, you know, is, is the reason why you can build and, and buy 98s right now to prepare for part two uh, rookie premier cards, and if you happen to want any of these Red Zone Royale cards. Uh, but that's the content. When it drops tomorrow, I got you covered with the video. Let me know what you think. My name is Popular Stranger. I'm out. Peace.